Hi there, I'm Suzette Kroll, Registered Dietitian. I'm your personal nutrition guide. In this session, I'm gonna be talking about dietary supplements after surgery. Vitamins and minerals are vital to your health after a weight loss surgery. In the 80s, there was this public service announcement called You Are What You Eat that played between Saturday morning cartoons. There was this little cartoon guy inside your stomach showing you what happens after you eat and how all the vitamins and minerals make everything work inside your body. It was a great message then, and it's actually still true today, that your body is a complete chemistry lab once you swallow your food. There are all kinds of chemical reactions that are going on every second of every day of your life that regulate your energy and your metabolism, your hunger, etc. This is a picture of the energy cycle. Here's a closer look at it. And what's important here, you can see some vitamins and minerals listed. There's iron there, B1, magnesium, manganese, B1, B2, etc. So what this is showing you is you need these vitamins to keep the cycle going round and round. If any of these vitamins are missing or low, then the cycle backs up or stops. And so it is with all the metabolic processes in your body. You need vitamins and minerals to make these processes go round and round and to work properly. Vitamins and minerals are involved in the processes that regulate your body size, not only energy, but fat and sugar metabolism, nutrient absorption, your thyroid, adrenal function, etc. your appetite, hunger, your metabolism. So you probably think of vitamins and minerals necessary for health, but they're therefore important because they're involved in all these processes, um, they're necessary for maximal weight loss success and long-term weight loss maintenance. Vitamin and mineral deficiencies can happen before surgery simply from making poor food choices. You could be overfed and undernourished, meaning you could be overweight, but that doesn't mean you have enough nutrition from the food that you've eaten. If you're eating a lot of processed packaged foods that are low in nutrition, then you could potentially be low on important vitamins and minerals. If you buy into some of these food fads, you could be missing out on important vitamins as well. For example, if you skip eating all white foods and wouldn't eat garlic or cauliflower or onions because they're white, you're missing out on their nutrition. If you skip all carbs because you think they're fattening, you're gonna miss out on all the vitamins and minerals in fruits and in good healthy carbohydrates like sweet potatoes and squashes and quinoa, for example. After surgery, Vitamin deficiencies can simply happen because you're eating less. Smaller portions, because your stomach's gonna be smaller, means smaller amounts of nutrients that you're eating. If you get out of surgery and think that you're just gonna eat smaller portions of what you used to eat, and you continue to eat processed packaged junk food, then again, you're at risk of vitamin and mineral deficiencies. The point after surgery is not to just eat smaller portions of what you used to eat, it is to actually change what you're eating entirely and start eating more nutrient-rich foods. Those food fads can happen after surgery, just like before surgery, and you could develop food intolerance after surgery. You might have difficulty eating a variety of foods, therefore you're lacking a variety of vitamins and minerals. So after surgery, your, your surgery has a profound effect on how your body is going to absorb nutrients. You may experience incomplete digestion and malabsorption. This means your body is no longer going to absorb several vitamins and minerals as it did before surgery. You, that means you'll require levels of vitamins and minerals higher than what an over-the-counter supplement can provide because a vitamin that you buy over-the-counter is for somebody that has anatomy that's you know, normal or that has not been rearranged. As, with it, as it is with the weight loss surgery. So without proper vitamin and mineral supplementation, you can experience nutri nutrient deficiencies. This is a whole list of vitamins and minerals affected by weight loss surgery, potentially. Just as a pregnant woman takes prenatal vitamins because they're specifically formulated with the vitamins and minerals that are particular to her needs with pregnancy, it's important that a bariatric patient takes bariatric specific vitamin because they're tailored to the specific needs that you'll have after a bariatric surgery or after a weight loss surgery. So these are our recommendations from Tucson Weight Loss Surgery. This is for a gastric sleeve. We recommend that you start at minimum with the Bariatric Advantage brand. This is a bariatric specific supplement. 
the Bariatric Advantage Multi-Chewy Bite two a day. That's the multivitamin. Now, additional calcium could be necessary if you're unable to get 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams of calcium from food. An additional iron or a multivitamin that contains iron may be recommended after surgery if your labs show iron deficiency. These vitamins are available in our office or on our website from the Bariatric Advantage eStore. You can simply click on that icon that says shop now to find them. With the gastric bypass surgery, you need to start with the vitamin and the iron and the calcium, all three. And again, these are available in the office or on our website. I get asked all the time, am I gonna to have to take these vitamin supplements forever? And the answer is yes, your anatomy is altered forever. So of course you have to take supplements forever. Now the vitamin routine that you begin with might not necessarily be the routine that you follow forever, but you likely will take supplements forever. Vitamin deficiencies or nutritional deficiencies can increase with time. So we monitor your blood work every three months, every three month, three, six, nine, and 12 in the first year, and then yearly after that. And we can adjust the vitamin regimen based on what the blood work says. So an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You've heard that before, I'm sure. What this means in relation to the vitamins is that we're trying to prevent vitamin deficiency not waiting until it happens and then correcting it. It's a lot easier to prevent it than correct it. I see a lot of patients who feel a false sense of security when they have skipped their vitamins and their blood work comes back normal and they think, oh, I don't need vitamins because everything's fine. Well, vitamin mineral deficiencies can happen slowly over a long period of time. So it's important to take your vitamins as suggested even when your blood work is fine. Again, the goal is to keep it fine, not to wait until it gets uh, deficient and then try to correct it. That's it for now. If you have particular questions about your vitamin regimen, please send me an email. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next session. I'm Suzette Kroll, a registered dietitian. I'm your personal nutrition guide.